An exclusive update now this morning on a story that made international headlines. You might remember a terrible wreck that happened around this time last year on Highway 36 in Temple. A car slammed into a Scottish cyclist who was just miles away from finishing his goal of cycling around the world. 25 News reporter Aaron Heff has the exclusive. An entire year. Oh, that feels good. Back on my feet. We first introduced you to Scottish cyclist Josh Quigley days after being thrown from his bike after being hit by a car going 70 miles an hour. 10 broken ribs, broken heel bone, broken ankle, fracture on my pelvis, got a damaged artery going into my brain. Less than a year later, he's breaking world records. It's 516 miles around the Highlands. It's an incredibly beautiful part of the world but very challenging for cycling because there's a lot of hills and mountains to climb. The North Coast 500 up in the Scottish Highlands, where he's from. Its previous record was an astonishing finish line of 31 and a half hours, but that record is history now. We managed to do it by four minutes, which was so, so tight. It was unbelievable, but it was, it was just a, it was a really incredible moment. At this moment, Quigley is cycling the 2000 mile Tour de France trek throughout Scotland. But Texas, he hasn't forgotten about you. Hopefully at some point in 2021, I'll be able to get back to Texas and, and come and finish the challenge. As soon as the UK allows for more extensive travel, Quigley is headed to Temple, Texas to finish that long-awaited goal of cycling around the world. And our area's police have told him he gets special treatment this time. When I come back, um, when I'm going on to Highway 36 again to ride on that road, that they're going to they're going to give me like a, a police um, chaperone and make sure that there's no cars hitting me that day. <laughs> In Temple, Aaron Heft, 25 News. Quigley says if you are a cyclist, he'll be holding a group cycle from Baylor Scott and White and Temple to Austin to raise money for the two hospitals that saved his life. We'll let you know those details when we learn them.